Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dennis and today I'm gonna show you a tutorial how to edit photos like this in Lightroom. Wait, before we jump to the tutorial, I just wanna let you to know that this preset is actually for free. You can download it in the link via the description box or just follow the steps and then you know you get the code and you go to the site and download the preset. And this preset is actually available for Lightroom Mobile, so DNG file or Lightroom desktop version. Anyway, let's jump into Adobe Lightroom. Okay, so here we are now in Adobe Lightroom. I took this photo of Francesca last year in Lago di Garda and I want to make it look like kind of vintage look, like retro, you know, these kind of photos that they are took with the analog codec. So first of all, we're gonna bring the temperature up to 6,000 and 50. You can either like just slide the slider or you can just type the number. So the next thing we're gonna go straight down to highlights. We're gonna open up a photo with the highlights down to minus 20. The same thing goes with the shadows. We're gonna bring the shadows up to plus 20. We're gonna bring the whites down to minus 15. And the blacks up to plus 35. Next thing, we're gonna add some texture. We're gonna add plus 18. Clarity up to plus six. And dehaze plus five. We're gonna bring the vibrance down to minus nine. And the saturation down to minus five. We're gonna jump straight into color. We're gonna go red color first. Okay, so we're gonna bring the hue up to plus five. Saturation down to minus 10. And the luminance up to plus five. Orange color next. We're gonna bring the saturation up to plus 11. And the luminance up to plus 12. Yellow color next. We're gonna bring the hue up to plus 15. Saturation down to minus 20. We're gonna go to green color next. Hue up to plus 13. Saturation down to minus 70. And the luminance up to plus 32. Aqua color next. We're gonna bring the hue up to plus five. Saturation down to minus 10 and the luminance down to minus 5 blue color next we're gonna bring the hue down to minus 15 the same goes with the saturation minus 15 as well and the luminance up to plus 38 purple color next we're gonna bring the saturation down to minus 10 and magenta color hue up to plus 10. Split toning next. We're gonna bring the highlights up to 192. And the saturation up to plus 7. We're gonna bring the shadows up to plus 21. And the saturation up to plus 16. So these are just the small little details that add like a vibe into the photo. All right, next thing is tone curve. Just one word about the tone curve. I'm gonna copy the tone curve from the photo that I just edited, so I make sure that I make like exactly how I did it. So I'm just gonna synchronize and yeah, you can either do the slightly little detail with me or just download the photo, which you already know. Okay, let's jump back into the Lightroom. Okay, so this is the photo that I edited before and I'm gonna just make sure that I copy the settings from tone curve. So check none, tone curve and synchronize. Okay, so the tone curve is applied. This is the RGB, red, green, and blue. You can either stop the video or just download the preset, like I said it. Alrighty, so next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna go down to lens correction. We're gonna make sure that remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. We're gonna go to detail next. We're gonna bring the sharpening down to 20. And the last thing is we're gonna add some grain. 
I think the grain is the most important key when it comes to editing like a vintage retro kind of Kodak look. So we're gonna add the grain up to plus 20. Let's do it a bit more, plus 26. Let's zoom it in. Yeah, I think that looks great. We're gonna add some vignette more, minus nine. I think should be fine. And that's a rhyme and we are done okay we are done the last thing that you shouldn't forget is you just have to adjust a little bit of exposure so i'm just gonna add a, just a little bit of exposure more and i'm gonna bring the texture a little bit down because i think it's destroying the photo with the grain okay the last thing i just realized is we're gonna bring the tint a little bit down because it's just a little bit too much pinky I'm gonna bring the tint down. Yeah, let's do it like this, minus 10. That's perfect. Okay, so let's see before and after. That's the look that I'm looking for. And that's it. That's the look that I've been looking for. It's a vintage retro kind of look. Guys, I really hope you liked the video and I really appreciate all your support. If you're new, just subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot. Anyway, we we'll see us in the next, next tutorial. And by the way, if you have any kind of wishes on what kind of tutorial should I do, just like write down in the comments. I'm really happy to help. See you in the next video. Bye.